You're a glorious God. Yes, you are. You walk upon the sea, you raise the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Our God is great. Our God is awesome. We are here to continue to testify of the greatness of God, of His mightiness, of His awesomeness. We are here to declare and decree that there is none like Him, that He is Alpha and Omega. We worship Him, our God. He is worthy to be praised. He is Alpha and Omega. We worship Him, our God, who is worthy to be praised. We give Him all the glory. We worship Him, our God, who is worthy to be praised. We give Him all the Oh, no, we worship him, our King, who is worthy to be praised. We give him all the praise. We join the innumerable company of people all over the world to worship him, to magnify him. It's a season for thanksgiving. For a child of God, every day is thanksgiving. But like we all know, the end of the year coming is special, special thanksgiving to him who has preserved us, to him who has kept us, to him who has sustained us, to him whom when we started the new year, December was so far away, November so far away. But now it is just like yesterday. It has pleased him to sustain us, to keep us, to preserve us our maker our strength it is in him that we live we move and have our being he is the glory and the lifter up of our head we are back to say thank you to him who protected us thank you to him who preserved us thank you to him who provided for us thank you to him who was always there for us <laughs> in the good times and even in those times we felt we were bad times he was there he allowed all of them to teach us to help us, to make us strong in the Lord, to make us ruggedly focus on Him. We are back to magnify Him. We are back to say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so very much. We are here. The God that is our refuge and our strength, we are here to say thank you. The God who is our present help all the time, Father, we say thank you. We we'll bless you. We we'll magnify you. Thank you for wearing us with a garment of praise a garment of thanksgiving. Thank you for removing lamentation far from us. Thank you for removing weeping far from us. Thank you for removing sorrow far from us. <laughs> Thank you that the expectations of the enemy never came to pass. Thank you that they are not saying, Peleu, Ndo, Eu, Sorry, Ah. <laughs> it is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our sight. It is the Lord's doing. We will praise Him. It is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our sight. It is the Lord's doing. We will praise Him. Psalm 47, verse 1. The psalmist said, Oh, clap your hands, O ye people. Shout unto the Lord with the God of triumph. We have triumphed. We have excelled. We have made it. We continue to make it. Because we are in him who is mighty. We are in him, the God that knows no impossibility. We are in him, the God that watches over his own. The God that does not sleep. The God that does not slumber. 
Father, we are here to say thank you. Just to say thank you. Just to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My mother, the connects come for that Roshan Okwe would always say, if all the hairs of her head were mouth, they are not enough to praise him. <laughs> then as children, she loves us. She works very hard. She was a hard worker, a hard libra. She wake up very early, man, early morning, leave the house, come back late. And when she comes back, she'd want us, she'd just drink tea. Then she want us to come and plate her hair. That plating is to be touching the hair. From there, she will sleep. Then we, in our mind's eye, like me, I will try to count the hair, the hairs of her head. I'll be trying to count it, but of course, we cannot count it. That is just to say that her thanksgiving is innumerable. There's a song she loves to sing. She loves to sing in Yoruba. Oh, no, Pemi, Oh, my shame, what Jesus? Oh, no, Pemi, Pong, who lay show like you do. That means the areas of my thanksgiving is too much. I cannot do without praising Him. I cannot do without thanking Him. I cannot do without blessing Him. I have every reason to say the same. And I believe that if you also examine your own self, you see that you have too many reasons to praise the Lord. But of course, the devil would always be one small area that is yet to be undone. And then you will magnify it. <laughs> you will magnify it and it will seem like you didn't do anything. No, that's a lie of the devil. Daddy, we are back to say thank you. We are back to magnify you. We are back to say you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy what the 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 to be praised thank you so so very much we bring an offering of praise we bring an offering of thanksgiving <laughs> if i were to be left i'll be singing plenty songs in yoruba <laughs> there's this one ah i should buy in low do so hey i should buy in low do so it says, ah, is this how you are sweet, Jesus? Ah, is this how you are nice, Jesus? Ah, is this how we can depend on you, rely on you? He said, your word is in my mouth is sweeter than honey. My thanksgiving is not enough. And so, Father, we say thank you. On behalf of ourselves, we say thank you. On behalf of those two that can't say thank you, we stand to say thank you. Psalm 124 is my winning psalm. He says, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, may we continually put that before us and say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our, on our side. And so on behalf of those who say thank you, we say thank you. Uh -huh. On behalf of those who can say thank you, because they are weeping, lamenting, wanting or the other, we stand in the gap on their behalf to say, God, thank you, because you are good. In all conditions, you are great. You are mighty, 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 the God of all impossibility. Thank you so very much for all that you do for us and continue to do. We say thank you. We say thank you. We want to close this clip by saying that, are you out there and you can't say thank you? Are you out there and you look around you and you say, ah, there's nothing to be grateful for? <laughs> Ecclesiastes 9.4, one of my favorite uh, verses of scripture says, a living dog is better than a dead lion. Let us tell him thank you, that you are alive. There is hope. Tomorrow holds greater and brighter days. I'll always sing the song of my bishop for you, Bishop Daniel, that says, Tomorrow holds for you and me. Brighter days ahead. Light is shining on our path. For we have seen the light where we rise and shine. Jesus is the light. Are you out there and you are yet to see the light? Jesus is the light. It is Jesus that enables us to be able to say thank you, thank you, thank you. It is Jesus that puts a song in our mouth. It is Jesus that even in our moments of difficulty, we may start to cry one minute, but it dries up immediately because we know that we have a strong backing before us. And we know that Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for good. If you are there, you don't know him. You can't say the same. We want to give you the medicine, the antidote to depression, and the key for thanksgiving. And it is found only in the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. That's all. A prayer that acknowledges him as the sovereign one. A prayer that acknowledges your dependence, your reliability on him. That's all. When you say that from a heart that is genuinely sincere, 
a heart that is truly repentant, you enter into God's grace. You begin to enjoy God's riches at Christ's expense. And at every turn, you can turn and say, Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you said that simple prayer, all you need to do now is simple because Christ paid the price on the cross. The difficult part has been done for you and I. All we need to do now is to accept that grace. Then you have need of the Bible. The Bible, B I B L E, is God's word to you. The Bible is what you need to keep standing, to remain standing, to remain ruggedly focused in this world that is very, very difficult. Get a Bible, get a daily devotional. But of course, the devil has come to make it look like the time is not enough. While the net has a lot of negativity, it also has a lot of positive, positiveness to itself. And one of that is that you can download the Android. With the Android, you can download the free online Bible. That way, the audio, you can be playing it when you are driving, when you are cooking, when you are sleeping, even whatever you are doing, you play the word, live the word, talk the word, and you find out that your life will never, never remain the same again. As you judge every occurrence, every experience, you judge every circumstance with the word, you can never miss it. Thank you so, so very much for streamlining with us. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, Genova Sea Ban of Love Mysteries International. On Facebook, by the special grace of God, we have five pages. Search the scriptures, nation building, ministers of the truth. When you pray and I pray, there is a God to answer. And of course, online church on the air. Thank you so very much for being part of this. On YouTube, we have a page. Our YouTube account is highly loaded for you. Messages that give hope, that inspire, that encourage, that reconcile you to your maker. Medicine for every situation is there for you. The bloggers are good. They make you laugh, but I tell you that the word of God is better. Go to our YouTube channel and you'll be amazed and strengthened thereby. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you.